I'm Eject1, and welcome to another episode inside of my survival world. And in the last video, what did we do last episode? Yes, that's right. In the last episode, I worked on this haul for my sheep, for my wool farm. And as you can see, I managed to get almost every sheep. I'm still missing a couple, but I did grab some off camera uh, in between episodes. Um, I'm still working on filling up the rest of it. I think there's only like two stalls left, but... That's perfectly fine. And speaking of the sheep, they're actually kind of imperative for today's episode. For today's episode. Now you might be wondering uh, what today's episode is about, and I'll get right into that. So, as you may know, I I still need to get farms going. Uh, I have the cobblestone farm. I have the I have, I have the cobblestone farm. I have the sheep pen. I have a scoot, technically a scoot farm. Um, but I am missing one crucial farm for. Uh, not just the mega project that I'm going to have in the future, but I need it. I need the stuff for this because I need to be able to push this with pistons and I don't have enough. And okay. So to explain, I have this piston pushing these blocks here into this, into the strip and that's nice and all, but the issue I'm facing is I don't want to just have this, uh, strip of cobblestone. I want to have, I want to have a bunch of pistons that can push these into a uh, bunch of cobblestone but in order to do that I need iron and right now my iron my iron game is kind of slacking also I need some hoppers for this um, I need some I need the same kind of thing here but for concrete so I do need a lot of things that require iron so as you may have figured out I'm going to be working on an iron farm today or at least trying to uh, I don't know how far we'll get but uh, yeah so I'm gonna pop on over here uh, we got to go past this village so I might have to, so I'm thinking because of what I'm going to build is over here. Actually, where's my bed? Because I'm going to need that. Whoops. Probably shouldn't forget that. That's pretty important. But yeah, I think I might include the uh, village into the mega project as well. Just because this is like the, the best way to get over there from the land, from the different land pieces. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with them just yet, but I'll figure out something. Uh, try to find my bed amongst this grass. There we go. And I guess I should make another pickaxe. Oh, also, I would like to show off that I managed to get my hands on a cat. Uh, it's not tamed yet, but I do have it on a lead. So, yeah, so now I have this cat. I I don't think this is the jelly cat. I I could be wrong. Someone will tell me in the comments. But we have a cat that's technically tamed. I just have to get a fish. But for right now, that's uh, perfectly fine. Anyways, let's head on over to what the build site for the... What is it? The uh, iron farm. So let's get on over there. And I did already set up uh, materials and where I want this to go. So if you just go over here. Now, I don't know if I have all the materials. There might be one material I'm lacking in. But, we're going to go ahead and get started. And, yeah, this guy's way out here. And I know this, I know with the way that this works, um, yeah, so I know that the way that this works, uh, it is a little bit close to this village, but that's perfectly fine for me. Now, it doesn't even produce so, a lot, a whole bunch, but I think it'd be good. So, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and tear down these trees that are in the way. So this is where it's going to be, this square right here. Uh, this is a 29 by 29 in case anyone wants to copy what I'm doing. And uh, I will say that I'm actually, this isn't my design. But I believe the username is Voltrox. So uh, yeah, I'm using his design. So I will leave a link in the description to that video. So if you guys, guys want to see how it works. Um, mine's going to be slightly modified. Um, and I'll explain that in a bit later once I actually have it built. So, we're just going to get rid of all these trees that are in my way. And then, we'll just take this. Take this out, too. Now, the only thing I might be low on is glass. So, yeah, that's, like, probably my one hindrance here is I might not have enough glass. But we'll see. 
But if not, then I can just smelt it up, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so now we have that. Uh, let's get this block. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the leaves to despawn. And while we wait for that, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Now, actually, I need to do something a little extra. And first of all, place my bed. And these are all the materials I have set. Uh, one thing I need to do, actually. Hmm. This is the only part I didn't, I didn't really think about too much. Whether I'm going to build above ground, uh, whether I'm going to build it above ground or below ground. But I think for, I think for this I'll probably just uh, do, um, yeah, let's do ground level. So basically, this is where everything is going to be set. And what I need now is to. All right, so what I need to do now is I need to find the center. Okay, so now that is the mark out for the center of this area. That is quite important for me because I need to be able to. So first of all, we need to do this, which is. Oh, need to go in here, actually. So first of all, we need hoppers. And I forgot to make signs. That's probably the one thing I forgot, but we can always make more. I've got plenty of stuff here. So what we want to do is we're going to dig this out to be a 3x3. Three three. So let's take this, and we're going to quickly just mark out the corners for it. Now, I will, yeah, like I said, I will say that uh, I am using a design by Voltrox. I believe that's how you say the name. I could be wrong. Um, now, his design, um, I am basically copying that, but I am making a slight modification to it to fit it to my own needs. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work. I'm not too good with redstone, so this could all be a total flop. Uh, something I need to do before I do that, actually. Um, we need to get rid of all this water, actually. Or do we? No, we can leave there, I believe. So let me just block it off here. Get rid of that water spot. There. That was a little tricky. But now we have that. This should be our 3x3, three three, so let's dig this out. And I need to go down by, I think, one more. And I will fill in this uh, water hole later. I'm just not doing it right now because it's not really that important. Now what I want to do is take this hopper. And I believe what we want to do, we need to actually go down by one more. And block out any water. Okay, I believe that's good. So we just have to put... So we just have to put water here and then lava here. I think it's going to work. So what we do now is... Just take this. Run it into there. Now we just need to find a way out. Okay, so now we have this, and this is the iron collecting. This is the iron collection spot. So, yeah. So basically, we're making an iron farm. So, essentially, this is going to be where the collective spot is. The only difference I'm making is that his is in the center, which I could do that, but I'm just going to do off to the side or into one corner, because then all I have to do is take one thing of uh, one thing of water and do it like that, and that'll push the so basically, if I have uh, uh, an iron golem coming from this direction, uh, it'll just push in here or any other direction. It'll just push in that corner. Now, what we want to do is... Why is it raining? Oh. It's raining in a different dimension. What are you doing? Can I interest you in something? No? 
Are you just curious? Huh. Yeah? I guess you can hang out if you want. Uh, let's see. Huh. I believe we want to do... Huh. That. I don't have anything for you, Mr. Villager. I'm sorry. Huh. Um, do you want a job? Huh. Nope, he ran away. He ran away from that. Okay. So, make some signs. That should be good. I believe. And before I go any farther, I need to figure out where this hole ends. I believe this is the connection point. So if I come down here. And this is just to put a place to put the chests. Or at least the, uh, uh, some, some type of, uh, it's going to be some type of, like, okay, so we're one below. Okay, now we can, okay, so that'll work. Yeah, so I'm just going to take the chest, and, yeah, so basically it's just going to be a chest and a hopper lime in here. I will see if I can make a way for it to go back up to the top probably with some uh, item elevators that way I can collect it but for now this will work now what we ought to do is I do need to clear out that these holes so now all that's filled in uh, these aren't gonna be here these aren't gonna be here permanently this is just for what I want to do so we got to go one two three four five six and then one, two, three, four, five, right? I believe that's how it works. Okay. And we're going to use cobblestone for this last bit. What we want to do is just go here and here. And then one goes here. So now we ought, so now what we're gonna do is take this and make a little bit of dirt scaffolding. There, perfect. So now we can take our beds, and I believe they should be able to. There's that, there's that, and there's that. Actually, these need to go out this way. So let's just place that there. Okay, now I need another temporary block. And then we need to get my trap doors. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just showing you guys the module. So you know what it looks like. And I'm just going to copy it on all four sides. I need my trap doors. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm basically just showing you guys what it is. Um, I know. I know. Uh, I know Voltrox has a uh, tutorial on it. That's where I got this from. But I figured I'd show it here in just in case you guys decide not to. Then you guys can build this yourselves. Okay, and now that I have all the beds here and the trap doors, and they are floating, but this is purely functional. And eventually I will... Eventually I'll make it so the villagers go up in here. But that's for a later point in the episode, if we get time today. Now, I did go ahead and put this pillar here, and this pillar is actually for the other important part, which is the killing chamber. Or not the killing chamber, but the zombie spot. So we have to get some, so we somehow have to get a zombie in here. So what we want to do is we're going to take a bunch of dirt blocks. And then we're going to take some 
fence gates. Now, I will say that the only difference I really made to the design I found was that uh, the only difference is that the person set up two. I chose to go with four, uh, just for symmetry, I guess, but also just see if this is more productive than that. I did do a little test in the testing world, but I don't know. It seemed like it was about the same, give or take. But we'll have to see. Now we can tear these out. And we need to go up by this, I think. Hmm. I just forgot to get water. I believe the trap doors go here. And then the slab goes here. And then we have a boat, and that's supposed to go here, too. I don't know if this will work with this way. However, I do need to get some water. Hmm. Come on, boat. Get in there. Where's my axe? Jerk. Come back here. Okay, now let's just try this again. So hopefully that should work. I have no idea. I have no confidence that it will, but let's hope so. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and take all of this out. Okay, here they come into the beds. Now, they detect them and take them. You too, buddy. Let's see now. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Does he go in there? Yes. Yes, he does. Go on. Yes. Okay. Do this again. Okay, so that works. Let's see if he does. All right, that's two. Let's try three. Okay. In he goes. Okay, so now we can take this out. There, so now they're stuck there permanently. Now let's see if these guys are close enough. Go on, take that bed. I'll give you this bed too. Okay, does he go up this one? Yep, there he goes. Golems are going to spawn like crazy. I don't need both of you. Okay, come on. I don't need either of you. Whoa. Jerks. It's not the time for spitting. Okay, I need bread.
Okay, you stupid llama. That's fine. Um, okay. This is not going how I thought it would. There. Fight yourself. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spawn a golem. Where are all these zombies? Oh, my. Whoa. Golems. I'm being attacked by a child. Kill it. No, no, no. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that was a lot of zombies. Just thought there. Oh, there's a bunch of them. What causes that many zombies? Or if it's the villagers causing that. Oh, oh that took care of that. There's a lot of zombies. Get in the boat. Get in the... Don't put that there. Get in the boat. Go on, get in the boat. Why is that on the boat? What's going on? Get in the boat. Can one of you get in the boat? Iron Golem, I need your help. Die. You're just going to die there. Gollum, no, no. Okay, this is not going as well as I thought. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to get across here without triggering him. And we got a creeper below me.
Okay, I gotta figure out a way down. Why? Okay, now here we go with round two of can we get a zombie in here? I'm not too sure if I will be able to, but we're going to try. Uh, we do have one iron golem, so that should help us with that. I don't know where that horde of zombies came from. That was I think it might just be because of these guys, but that is absolutely crazy just how many of those guys there were. Oh, yep, there's a lot of them. Here they come. I'm going to let the golems take care of these guys, and whoever survives can join me up here. Or they could just go up here. No, why would you do that? Okay. So, he's going to take care of most of them. Hmm. Any more? Come on. Come on, zombie. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Will he make it? Will he make it? Come on. Oh, come on. Really? What are you doing? Why are you up here? No, get down. Fall. I needed that boat. Oh, you almost set it on fire. Stop pushing my boat, jerk. I'm going to cover that up so it no longer does that. I still have signs. And I still have lava. So that's a good sign, I think. I want to put that there. Put that there. That there. And then I should be correct when I say we put the lava there. Give a slight nudge. I'll just patch that with that. That seems to work. Um, I think the only issue I have with this personally, I think I might just make it. I might just go one block lower than what I have it set to. So, let me grab my pickaxe. Yeah, because see, the, the the reason is that these guys are getting stuck on this, and I want them to fall into here, so. We need to go one block lower. Not worried about that right now. This would just let me put in the trap doors. Okay. Place that there. Now let's dig that out a little bit so I know where that's at. Placing that. 
push this into the corner. So now we can do that. So now if I want to, I can get out of here. But before I do that, I need to put in the lava. Let's see. Yeah, because these guys are just standing there, and I really don't want that, so... I'm going to make it so... I can get out of here, first of all. Okay. Let me set a bed for myself so I don't die. Actually, I just want to set the... Spawn. Place the bottom one. It's the same thing, we're just doing it one block lower. There. Now we have one more thing to make, and that is going to be... If I can make it in time. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. I don't think so. Stop trying to blow my stuff up, you jerk. Stop it, jerk. Okay. Try to do this quickly. Not placed right. Okay. Now let's go to sleep. Okay, let me get some dirt blocks to try and repair that little hole. So let's just run back over to the other area. Now while I'm running over there, I will also like to mention that if you did like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. It does about, it really does help out the channel. And uh, if you'd like to discuss the episode with some uh, fellow fans of the channel, then I do have a Discord, and there is a link to it below. And like I said, I will leave a link to the video for that down below as well. So if you guys got, want to go check it out, um, mine is slightly tweaked where his has only two, mine has four. Of course, the other two I have are not operational yet because I need uh, more villagers. But I could sort that out over time. I don't really need iron right now, right now, or a whole lot of it right now. But just the idea of having some in the f for the future, just be able to open that words. Just be able to, uh... okay, that happened. Just having the ability to... Make it more productive to up its production by double. Um, that that should help with a lot of things. I have way too much stuff, so. Let's go see what's over here. Let's go patch that hole up. 
And like I said, I will do something with this village later. It will become part of the mega, mega project. Um, but I will not tell what that mega project is. You'll either have to guess in the comments or in my Discord. Or you'll have to just wait and see what it is. But this, by the way, this and the village will also be involved in this mega project. It's a pretty big project, so... Not just for the fact that it produces iron. There. Now we got that guy. Let's fix this creeper hole. Okay, is there anything else I want to handle with this before I close out today? Um, I'm going to get rid of this because this is going to mess with me. Okay. Now let's get a little bird's eye view. So yeah, I pretty much just copied the, this guy, this one guy's sign. Again, I just added two more stalls for, uh, vill for villagers to go. And that's just so when I want to expand the production of iron, this will obviously do its thing. Uh, but, yeah, so thanks to uh, Voltrox, I believe his name is. Sorry if I said that wrong, but uh, thank you for the uh, iron farm. I was trying to find one that... I didn't want to copy the one I did uh, that I've done before. I've done that one so many times, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Now, what we're going to do, um, we could wait till night. Um, I think one thing I'll do while I wait. Oh, actually, no. I was going to make it, because I also want to make it something where eventually I can make a uh, flesh farm. Um, the flesh farm, the flesh wouldn't be necessary for anything, except for tr trading, except for trading with the, uh, except for trading with the, uh, cleric in the villages so and I do happen to have one back in my other village so that would be kind of nice to have some kind of trading material even though it's not really necessary but uh yeah and I think it's already starting to produce I think it obviously I think it obviously produces more at night than it does during the day so and that's just because you have a bunch a lot more mobs let me collect all this stuff up if I can. If I can. Uh, I can't take that leather. We'll just put this here for now. There. And I'll probably do something with this tunnel later. But I'll have to envelop some uh, redstone or something. But we'll have to see. Alright, so... That is probably going to have to do for today's episode, though, guys. Uh, I do really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did... Well, I already told you guys what to do. Uh, but yeah, it does really it does mean a lot to me. It does about the channel. If you have fan art and stuff, by the way, I do also have a Twitter. Um, it's also another good way to connect with me on there. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And we do finally have some iron. I do finally have an iron farm of some sorts. So the people that were asking me when am I getting iron, you can stop asking because I've answered your question. And we are officially moving on to the iron stuff. And I did have a iron pickaxe somewhere. I don't know if I have it still. It might be in my. It might be in one of my uh, chests. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I hope I inspired you guys to go and build your own uh, iron farm or to build something that's different. And uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you had. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. And until my next video, guys. Oh, and by the way, since it is the Fourth of July where I live, I don't know. I don't know who's watching this from where. Uh, some people are from Britain. Some people are from. Uh, other places around the world. Um, so I don't know if you, I don't think you guys celebrate this holiday, but I am in America. So there is a, uh, today is the 4th of July, uh, as of the recording of this video, or actually as of the upload of this video, because the recording is on the 3rd, you guys get to see it on the 4th. So, uh, yeah, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July or, Whatever you're celebrating, whatever you're celebrating at the time of this record, at the time of this uh, upload, and uh, yeah, until next time, guys. I'm Ejecta One, and you have been ejected.